Hi guys! Thank you for joining us today at the Hit Music Studio. Today we're going to be covering five breathing exercises that will help you on your journey to becoming a better singer. The first exercise we're going to do is called bubble breathing. I want you guys to grab a glass of water, just a little bit, and a straw. Now, you can choose any song that you want. When you breathe using your diaphragm into this straw, it will create bubbles in the glass. I'm gonna do it the wrong way first, okay? So if I'm humming into this straw without using my diaphragm, <laughs> the wrong way. Now, if you're using your diaphragm and engaging your sound, you're going to see bubbles here in the glass. If you end up with little splatters all over your face, you did it the right way. So as you're practicing your songs, that's a really great way to make sure that you're using your diaphragm when you sing. The second exercise we're going to be working on today is called breathing counts. For this exercise, you're going to need a metronome. I use this free one that I have on an app on my phone. You're gonna set your metronome to 100. The idea with this exercise is that you're going to breathe in for a count of four and then breathe out for a count of four. Let's practice together. Breathe in two, three, four, out two, three, four. In two, three, four, out two, three, four. Shh. The next one we're going to do is breathe in for a count of four and out for a count of eight. Here we go. Breathe in two, three, four, out two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The idea with this exercise is that you want to expend all of your air by the time you get to the end of the phrase. So when you get to the end of the phrase, you don't want to have a lot of air left over. You don't want to be, you know, dying and out of breath, but you want to have that consistent airflow throughout the, the phrase. The last one you're going to do is breathe in for a count of four and out for a count of 12. You can continue to do this, adding on a measure each time you practice. The third exercise we're going to practice today is called the diaphragm workout. For this one, you're going to put your hands on your diaphragm. You're gonna start by taking a deep breath in. You're gonna breathe out on an SH sound for a count of four, and then breathe out all the leftover air that you have. Here we go. Start with a deep breath. Do this as strong as you can until you feel yourself completely running out of air. You'll feel your abdomen contracting, your diaphragm engaged, almost like you're wringing out a wet washcloth. The fourth exercise we're gonna practice today is your starting breath. Now, when you're in performance or you're practicing in a band, your band director may count out for you to begin a song, and it's important to know at what moment is appropriate to breathe. Now, this will vary based on the tempo of a song, but usually a good gauge is about the count of seven. You wanna be careful because sometimes what we see singers do is they breathe right away on the count of one, and then they're holding their breath for almost eight counts before they begin singing. We wanna to try to avoid that. So wait to breathe until it's right about the time for you to begin to sing. Again, you're gonna set your metronome at 100, and we're going to count, and when you get to number seven, you're going to take a breath in, and you're gonna start singing on number one, holding your breath for one measure. It will sound like this. Here we go. Ah. Uh, let's do it one more time. Ah. Uh, that's a great way to gauge when is the appropriate time to breathe before you begin a phrase. The fifth exercise we're going to be working on today is the balloon challenge. This is a fun one. 
grab a balloon. For this challenge, what you're going to try to do is blow up the balloon in the least amount of breaths possible. You want the balloon to be a big size, like birthday party size. Try to do it with as few breaths as you can. In order to get the full expansion of your lungs, make sure you're breathing to your diaphragm. Took me three. Can you do better? Thank you guys for joining us today. I hope these five breathing exercises help you on your way to becoming a great singer. Thank <laughs> you.